Gary from the fellow Toastmasters and guests. What a warm welcome. I appreciate that. Pat Sajak has his band of white. I looked around for the most beautiful woman I could find and I asked uh, Mona. Monique. Mona. Mona. Mona, if she would be uh, my band of white. If you could assist me, please. <laughs> How many in here know the game Pictionary? Let me ask better. Anybody not know the game Pictionary? Excellent. So let's get started. Right down the center, we got A team, B team. All knowing, brainiacs. Very simple. One point each on this one. What's that? One. Yeah, both get a point. <laughs> Try 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 both get a point. <laughs> this is a real hard game, I know. Timeline. Timeline. Got it. Over here. Hey, I said it first. <laughs> I'll accept two answers for this one. Peter Totter or a seesaw. Thank you. go through this exercise. I wanted you to get your brains into gear. I want you to think. What we're going to be covering tonight is why did they do what they did. Another way of saying that is cause and effect. Who are they? They are the founders. Another name for the founders is framers. No point. What they wanted to do was come up with a system. Cause and effect. Let's go to the timeline. September, eight, uh, 1787. Anything? We celebrate it every year, September 17th. Okay. <laughs> nope. Wow. Let's go to, who said that? Fifteen. That was 50 points. <laughs> Four months earlier. Team B. That's Team B. That's Team B? Yeah. yeah. Team B right. a 50. That's May. What happened in May? That same year? Okay. How about uh, March of 1785? Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Here's an easy one. 7 4. 1776. Declaration of Independence. What was the law like back in those days? Let's go to our triangle. This was how the law was made. The king at the top made the rules. He who has the, key, who has the goal makes the rules. Imagine if you can, down here, the people holding up their government. This heavy, heavy pyramid. 1776, we said no more, and we threw down the gauntlet. If we'd have lost the war, what would have happened to those who signed? Treason. Hung. I gave him a point there. <laughs> now, when we signed that document, who was the first one to sign it? John Hancock. John Hancock. Over here. Why, for 500 points, no, 100 points. For 100 points, why did he sign his name so big? So King George could read it without his glasses. That's it. Very good. That is absolutely correct. They took that piece of paper to the king and they said, King, King, the Americans, they're revolting. And he said, tell me about it. <laughs> yes, we were revolting. We said no more. We threw down the gauntlet because we were sick and tired of the way that the government was. You have two ends of government. You have 100% over here, which is your kings, rulers, communists, socialists. Uh, over here is 0%, and you have anarchy. The French Revolution experienced anarchy. It was said that the blood was just pouring down the streets because they took away all law. Anybody who had any kind of royalty or rulership or anything of that nature, up at their head. 
Guillotines were used a lot back then. We said, no more. When we went to war in 1776, 50 points, what were the articles that we were fighting under? Articles of the Confederation. Where were they on the scale between 100% and no government at all? Where were they on the scale? If you were to put it on the scale. You're right. Give them about 50 points. <laughs> because they knew what King George was doing, they said, we've got to be very careful. They got together on this timeline right here. George, or when Cornwallis surrendered his sword, here's a question, 50 points. Who did he surrender his sword to? Trick question. He surrendered his sword to his subordinates. The subordinate went to George Washington. Washington said, uh-uh. He got one of his subordinates to take it, who then gave it to Washington. <laughs> little trivia question there for you. In March of, 18, of 1785, everything was going so far downhill. Nobody was talking to anybody. They were fighting. If you wanted to go from one state to another state, you had to go through customs. It was in March. Where did they meet between um, Virginia and Maryland? They were fighting so much over uh, fishing rights, they met in a boat in the middle of the Potomac. Washington heard that, and he said, why did I go to war with England? <laughs> Brought them together, hammered out everything. Everything went so well, they said, we've got to do this for the 13 colonies. And that's when they met in, in, in May. September, four months later, they came up with the Constitution. The Constitution they put right dead center of too much and too little. They put it in with three heads of that eagle. They broke down the government so it would be precise. You decide on which way that eagle has been po uh, pulled. Who won? Team B. Team B, you won pocket-sized constitution. I'll put them on the desk over there. And Team A, if you want to take one, I'll turn my head. <laughs> That's why they did what they did. Cause and effect. They knew what they were doing. Thank you.